In this presentation, we will understand special program number 6, Sand Glass Pattern of Stars. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The topic of this presentation is Special Program Print the Sand Glass Pattern of Stars. In this presentation, we will understand how to print the Sand Glass Pattern of Stars or the R Glass Pattern of Stars correctly on the screen and that too programmatically. But before writing the program for the same, First, we need to understand the problem statement properly. So, let's look at the problem statement first and let's try to understand it. Write a program to print the sand glass pattern or the R glass pattern of stars as shown. We need to print this sand glass pattern on the screen. In order to print this pattern, we can divide this pattern into two parts. This is the first part which we need to print first. And then we will proceed and print this part. First, we will write the program to print this pattern correctly on the screen. Now, the main question is how to print this pattern correctly on the screen? First, we need to ask the user to enter the number of rows. User will provide the value and we will use that value to print these two patterns on the screen. If user provides 5, then we know that in this pattern, we need a total of 5 rows and in this pattern also, we need a total of 5 rows. This means a total of 10 rows will be there in order to print the sand glass pattern correctly on the screen. So, it depends upon the user input, how many rows will be there in the sand glass pattern. So, now let's proceed and write the program to print this pattern first on the screen. Let's ask the user to enter the number of rows first. For this purpose, we can use input method and then we can provide input method as the argument to int method which will return the integer equivalent of the value provided by the user. Eventually, we'll make some variable point to that value. We have already understood this step in our previous presentations. So, let's perform this step first. Let's write this line rows equal to int, then input and within these parentheses, enter the number of rows. With this, we are asking the user to enter the number of rows. Eventually, we will provide the integer equivalent of that value to this rows variable. Now, after receiving the value, we are ready to write our main program. Here, we want to print this pattern first. In order to print this pattern, we need to take care of two things. The first thing is that we need to take care of the number of white spaces that we need to print in each row before printing the first star. And the second thing is we need to print correct number of stars in each row. Here we can observe that we need a total of 5 stars in the first row, 4 stars in the second row, 3 stars in the third row, 2 stars in the fourth row, and one star in the fifth row. We also know this from our previous presentations that the outer for loop decides the number of stars that will eventually get printed on the screen. So, our outer for loop reflects how many stars will be printed in each row. So, let's write the outer for statement first, then we will proceed with the inner for statements. We need nested for structure in order to print this pattern correctly. So, now let's proceed and write the outer for statement first. For i in range rows, comma, 0, comma, minus 1. This time we want values in decreasing order. We want 5 first, then 4, then 3, then 2 and then 1. As it can be observed that in the first row we have 5 stars, therefore we need 5 first from this i variable and then we want 4, then we want 3, then we want 2 and finally we want 1. This range function will return values starting from 5 and that goes up to 1. So, we will get 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 from this range function. Here we can observe that the first value here is rows which means that we are passing 5 to it if rows is equal to 5. And the second value is 0 and the third value is minus 1. 
minus 1 means that we will get values in decreasing order. We will get 5 first, then we will get 4, then 3, then 2 and then 1. Because here the stopping value is 0. Now we know that we will eventually get values in decreasing order. Now we are ready to write the inner for statements for the white spaces and the stars. First we will write the inner for statement for the white spaces that we want to print before printing the first star in each row. It can be observed from this figure that in the first row we don't want any white space before printing the first star. In the second row we want one white space before printing the first star. In the third row we want two white spaces before the first star. In the fourth row we want three white spaces before the first star. And in the last row that is the fifth row we want a total of four white spaces before the first star. So we need this for statement to correctly print white spaces on the screen. For space in range 1 comma rows minus i plus 1. Here we are passing rows minus i plus 1 as the second argument. We know that rows is 5 and in the first iteration i is 5. 5 minus 5 will give us 0. So eventually we will get 1 here. So this is equal to 1 comma 1. So the range function in this case will return nothing. This means that in the first iteration we will not get any white space before the first star. In the second iteration we know that the value of i will be 4. In that case we will get 2 here eventually. This means that range function will return just one value that is 1. And this means that this for loop will execute only once. And this eventually means that we will get one white space before the first star. In this way we will get the correct number of white spaces in each row. I hope this is clear. Now within this for statement we need this statement to print white spaces. Now after this we need another for statement to print stars correctly in each row. After printing the white spaces we need to print the stars. In the first row we want a total of 5 stars and we can get this count from the variable i. We need this for statement. For star in range 1 comma i plus 1. Here the second argument is i plus 1. Now we know that in the first iteration value of i is 5. 5 plus 1 will give us 6. So eventually this range function will return 5 values. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This means that this for loop will run 5 times. And this means that we will get 5 stars in the first row. Within this for statement, we need this statement to print stars along with the white spaces. So first we will print the star and then the white space. After printing stars in the specific row, we need to move to the next row. For this we need this print statement. This is the entire program which helps us in printing this pattern correctly on the screen. Now let's execute this program line by line and let's see how this program works and print this pattern correctly on the screen. Let's first execute this line. Rows equal to int input enter the number of rows. With this we know that we will get this prompt on the screen. Enter the number of rows. Let's say the user has provided 5. Then we know that the rows variable must point to this object with value 5. Now after this we need to execute this statement. For i in range rows, comma 0, comma minus 1. In the first iteration we will receive 5 here. This means that variable i must point to this object with value 5. Now we need to execute this statement for space in range 1 comma rows minus i plus 1. Here we know that rows is 5 and i is also 5. Therefore eventually we will get 1 here. This means we will get range 1 comma 1 here. From this range function we will not receive anything. This means that this for loop will not execute. This print statement will not be executed. Hence we will move to this line. 
but first let's create variable space and here this object is empty because we will not receive anything from range function now after this we need to execute this statement for star in range 1 comma i plus 1 this time we know that value of i is 5 so eventually this will be replaced by 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6 from this range function we will receive a total of 5 values 1 2 3 4 and 5 this means that this for loop will run 5 times first variable star will receive value 1 therefore we can say that star variable is now pointing to this object with value 1 now we need to execute this statement so star along with the white space will be printed so we'll get star along with the white space after this we need to execute this statement this time star variable will receive value 2 now we need to execute this statement this means that star along with the white space will be printed now we need to execute this statement this time this value will be replaced by 3 then we need to execute this statement hence we will get one more star along with the white space here after this we need to execute this statement this time we will receive 4 here then we need to execute this statement hence we will get one more star along with the white space here after this we need to execute this statement this time we will receive 5 here then we need to execute this statement and we will get one more star along with the white space here we are done with all the stars in this row hence we need to go to this particular statement which means that we will now move to the next line now we need to print stars in the second row we need a total of four stars and we need one white space before printing those four stars and this will be done eventually because of this program now let's execute this statement here we know that this time this value will be replaced by 4 now we need to execute this statement for space in range 1 comma rows minus i plus 1 this time we know that i is 4 therefore eventually we will get 2 here which means that this range function will return 1 and this means that space variable is now holding value 1 after this we need to execute this statement this means one white space will be printed on the screen I am representing a white space with this bar. This will not be printed on the screen actually. This is just for representation purposes. This bar will not be printed in the actual output that we will get from the Visual Studio code. This is what you need to note. Now after printing this white space, we need to execute this statement for star in range 1 comma i plus 1. This time i is 4, therefore this will become 5. We will get 1, 2, 3 and 4 from this range function. This means that this loop will run 4 times. First, we will get 1 here and then we need to execute this statement. We will get our first star in this row. After this, we need to execute this statement. This time, we will get 2 here and then we need to execute this statement. We will get one more star here. After this, we will execute this statement. We will get 3 here. Then we need to execute this statement. We will get one more star here. Then we need to execute this statement. We will get four here. And then we need to execute this statement. We will get one more star here. So eventually we are getting four stars in this row. And after getting these four stars, we need to execute this statement. This means now we need to move to the next line. I hope up to this point, this process is completely clear. The rest of the process is exactly the same. So now, I am just going to print the output on the screen. So we got the first half of the sand glass pattern correctly. Now, we need to print the second half of the sand glass pattern. And this is how the second half looks like. We now need to print this second half. We already know how to print this second half. This is full pyramid of stars. So now, let's write the program for the same. I'm going to temporarily remove this output window and I'm going to show the same pattern for reference so that I can explain the entire program of the second part of the sand glass pattern. So let me remove this output window and let me show the sand glass pattern for reference. This is our sand glass pattern. This time we want to print this second half. 
For this purpose, first we need to write the outer for statement. This is how our outer for statement looks like. For j in range 1 comma rows plus 1. This time in place of i, I have chosen j here. So it is up to you, you can take any variable name. To this range function, I have passed these two arguments, 1 and rows plus 1. Because this time, we want 1 star in the first row, 2 stars in the second row, 3 stars in the third row, 4 stars in the fourth row, and 5 stars in the fifth row. We know the outer for statement decides the number of stars that will eventually get printed on the screen. Therefore, it makes sense to provide these two arguments to the range function. From this range function, we will receive values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, within this for loop, we need two inner for loops, one for white spaces and the other one for stars. Let's write the inner for statement for the white spaces. This is how it looks like for space in range 1 comma rows minus j plus 1. This time we have variable j here, so we need j here. So rows minus j plus 1. This will give us the correct number of white spaces in each row. Now after this, we need this statement print end equal to single quotes and within these single quotes we need white space character. With the help of this for loop, we will get the correct number of white spaces before printing the first star in each row. Now after this for loop, we need this for statement for star in range 1 comma j plus 1. And within this for statement, we need this print statement print star and end equal to single quotes with white space. And after this, we know that we need this statement print with single quotes. This allows us to print a new line. Now we know how this program works and prints the rest of the stars on the screen. Let me show the complete output here. So this is the output that we will receive on the screen. This is the sand glass pattern that we eventually wanted. Now let's execute this code in VS Code and let's verify our result. I have opened the folder Python work and in this Python work folder, I have this sandglasspattern.py file. In this file, I have written the same code. Now we can execute this code. Let's open the new terminal. And let's type this command, python, then white space, then the name of the file followed by .py extension. So let's type the same. Now let's hit enter. We have been asked to enter the number of rows. Let's type 5. Let's hit enter. We are getting the correct sand glass pattern. Now let's execute this command once again. Now let's hit enter. This time let's enter 10. Let's hit enter again. Here we are getting this pattern. This is the pattern we are getting here, which is the correct pattern and it looks beautiful. So with this, we have verified our program. Now let's get back to our presentation. So we have verified this program and we know this program is working correctly. I hope the process of how to print the sand glass pattern of stars is completely clear to you. This means that we are done with this topic and this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.